So in your calculator, there's a feature called last answer. So I'm going to turn this on and it stores it in your calculator as the last result of a calculation. So I'm going to hit second down here. I'm going to hit the answer just above the equal sign. So whatever calculation I previously did shows up as three. So even though the calculator was off, it still stores it in memory. Let me clear it. So let's go six plus six is equal 12. So say I want to reference that again, I can hit last answer. On occasion, sometimes you're doing some kind of equation plus 12, 12 plus 12, 24, and you accidentally hit the clear button. You're like, ah, crap, what was that answer? Second answer, and that'll give you your last answer. That's a really neat feature you can use in case you accidentally erase the number and you have to go back to it and you forget. Or you can also use it as a operator or as a uh, holder for numbers. So you'll hit 23 times second. What's my last answer? 12 equals 276. So now say you need that number to plug into a, another equation. Last answer, there's your 276. And then you can use that for something else. Or you can start in memory. And I actually did another video on, if you haven't seen it yet, I've done another video on standardizing your storage, which may be useful whenever you're trying to use the last answer and store memory. But that's your last answer feature. It's pretty useful at times. So if you do turn it off, second, last answer, there it is.